Brody Murbarger faces murder and other charges in connection with the death of Megan Nichols. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is in Fairfield with the latest on the case. Around Fairfield, you can still see signs saying, We remember Megan in honor of Nichols, showing that her hometown has not forgotten her since her disappearance in December 2014. Six years later, the man both Wayne County and federal authorities say is responsible for her disappearance and her death is now in custody. A Wayne County grand jury indicted Murbarger in late September for first degree murder, concealment of a homicidal death, and home invasion. He was arrested this morning outside his workplace in Evansville. His home on Lakeside Court was also searched. Officials are releasing few details about what led them to Murbarger or a possible motive in the killing. But according to court records, Murbarger is accused of suffocating and strangling Nichols. He's also accused of burying her body in a remote part of Wayne County, which was later discovered in December of 2017. Her remains were identified a month later. The home invasion charges stem from when Murbarger allegedly entered her home twice between November 2013 and July the following year. Court records also show that in the days following her reported disappearance, Fairfield police asked for a search warrant on cell phone records based on the suspicion that Nichols may be the target of an unknown predator. Investigators aren't saying much so far as to how Murbarger and Nichols knew each other. Murbarger is being held in the Vandenberg County Detention Center awaiting extradition back to Illinois. A spokesperson for the FBI and Wayne County State Attorney Kevin Kaykak both declined to comment further on this case. In Fairfield, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.